Hello everyone, so in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to add the trailing stop loss indicator to your Pro Real Time charts. So the first thing you'd probably like to do is just open up uh, Pro Real Time and open up your chart templates. Doesn't matter which ones you use for now. Once you've done that, um, make sure that you have uh, on, on, on my blog, uh, you know, on the same page where you've accessed this video, you, you will have noticed that in the download section, the trailing stop loss indicator code. So just click on that, download it, and that'll just give you a Word document with the actual code we'll need to add to our charts. So you'll probably see we've got long trailing stops and short trailing stops. Um, and that's just because the, the rules are going to be slightly different depending on whether you've bought something or sold something. Um, because obviously for long trading stocks we want our, our trading stop to move up but never down and for short trading stocks we want them to move down but never up so the code is slightly different for the purposes of this example though I just want to show you how to do um, you know how to actually add them to your charts so we're just going to use the the long trading stops code so just copy that right click copy um, come back into pro real time um, and now, this is how you add it to your charts. Up in the top of the chart uh, page, you have this little indicator tab, which we use to add the indicators to our templates in uh, the first couple of videos of this series. So just left click on that. What you have here is your indicators selections. We want to add a new indicator. Let's call this uh, trail, trail Stop. Um, just click in the big white box where it says programming of indicator and this is where we're going to paste our code so right click paste and there we have the basic code for a trailing stop loss now what you want to do is um, make this specific uh, to the actual trade we're making so let's say for example we we uh, we decided um, we found a signal say in the SPY because we're on the SPY charts now let's say for example we were we were watching our charts on the 10th of January 2013 and we had a breakout signal so what you would do is first of all we would know that we were going to open a trade the, fo the day following our signal so that was going to be the 11th of January 2013 so where it says start date in your indicator box we just put in 2013 and then we put in the month which was January so 01 and then 11th was the day so that's the day that our trade began now our opening price would have been 147.04 so where it says order price here you put in the actual pr price which you would have got in the trade at so that's 147.04 Again, just beneath where it says order price, put that in. Where it says max loss, that's going to be the uh, the multiple of ATR we're using to trail our stop by. So on the day of the signal, we're just coming down into our average true range indicator pane here. Just hover over your indicators. And if you look there, it says envelope one comma four hundred we know that's five times the average true range so that's telling us it's seven point five six so come back into your code box here where it says max loss we want it to be seven point five six and again once more the max loss is seven point five six now because we're going to change the training stop loss for each different market we trade all we need to do is just make it market specific in the indicator name so for example this trade is in the SPY so we'll just call this trail stop SPY now if you had a signal in a different market now you would follow the same steps I've just shown you but then depending on the market you would just give the indicator name trail stop and then the name of the market you're trading um, and over time you will gradually build a huge list of training stop losses which means you won't always have to rename them you'll, you'll already have them named and saved and then it'll just be a case of adding the the uh, correct indicator to each different market you trade but for now 
let's just click on add indicators to chart and then what that will do is automatically place the indicator beneath your charts now we don't want that we want to see the indicator actually beneath price so just come down and click on the cross where it says trail stop SPY click the cross and then to add the actual indicator to our chart um, you know where we want it right below price where it says price here there's a little spanner left click on the spanner and the add drop down box just click that and we're looking for the trail stop SPY which we just set up and there it is okay so as you can see now we have got this trailing stop loss line um, you know and you'll have to just imagine that we did enter that trade on that day and then each day this indicator will automatically repopulate you don't have to do anything once you've set it up every day you just load up your charts and the indicator will have automatically adjusted for you now if you've read the book or seen uh, any of my other videos you'll know that I change the way the indicator looks so where it says settings here make sure you've highlighted trail stop SPY the width I make I make it a little bit bigger just so it's a bit more visible and I like dots rather than lines again this is all personal preference you can do as you please there we are points we can make them even a little bit thicker click on set as default configuration for this indicator close the box and there we have it the training stop loss indicator so now every time you place a trade all you have to do is come to the chart which gave you the signal click on the little spanner you'll want to go add and then all you need to do is you can add the trailing stop SPY but this time because you're in a different market you would click modify indicator you'd give it a different name depending on the market you were trading and then you would just change each of these fields so you would change where you entered the trade here and here and you would change the trading stop loss amount here and here you'd click add indicator to your, to your chart and they, there you'd have a new indicator for the new market you're trading gradually as you build your portfolio you would just be able to come to your portfolio list and as you scroll through them they would each have the relevant indicator already saved on the chart um, so once you've done it once you know these indicators will keep updating you never have to do anything again um, and just out of curiosity let's see so there we are if we did actually enter this trade on January the 11th the trading stop loss would have followed 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 by 7.56 dollars until eventually here it would have given us an ex exit signal now one other thing uh, I wanted to show you is if you remember in the book I explained that you can have trading stop losses which are fixed so on the day of entry we knew in from our example just now that our trading stop loss was seven dollars and fifty six cents away from each new high but if you remember we can also uh, make our trailing stop losses so that they adjust as the trade moves up in price so the actual stop loss amount will adjust and it won't stay the same so if you do want to use your stops in that way there's a very easy way of setting it up using pro real time um, so let's just right click on our trailing stop loss indicator here so we'll delete that trailing stop so let's say we want to set up our trading stop losses so that they adjust every day so come up to the indicator pane left click it and pro real time actually has an indicator which will already do this for us so we don't need to recode anything the indicator we're looking for is called the uh, chand crawl stop so click on that click add to chart um, now at the moment uh, that doesn't really make much sense to us so we need to fiddle with the settings a little bit so in the settings area here the first thing you will want to do is the stop a chat okay let's just make that invisible okay where it says stop vent 
less than, greater than, stop a chat. Okay, click that and just click the two little boxes. And as you can see, we're beginning to build what looks very similar to the training stop loss indicator that we just coded. But we're still not quite done. So you'll want to come back into this little settings box and where it says stop vent. Okay, we then want to specify the number of periods and the multiplier. So when we coded our own training stop loss, we knew we were using our five times ATR and we manually entered what that was. But when you're using this indicator, you can just put in the number of periods. So we know that we use 20 period ATR. So we have 20 there in the ATVR number of periods. Max min number of periods, we also leave at 20. And then we make the multiplier 5. Set that as your default configuration for this indicator. And again, um, we can change how it looks. So at the moment, it's just a red line. But we can make that a little bit thicker. And let's make it points. So in the width section, just change the size of the line. In the style section, select points. Again, just make sure that you've clicked the set as default. Close that. And there we have our trailing stop loss indicator. Now, just right click on that again, actually. And if we go settings, stop vent, we can make that even thicker again. And let's make it black just so it stands out a bit better. So to make it black, just click on a color, left click, choose the color you want, click OK, close that again. So once we have that indicate set up, um, if, if you, if you uh, notice, it, it's not kind of date specific. So this indicator is going to be on your charts all the time. Um, so it is a bit of a time saver if you don't want to manually code your indicator each time you make a trade and you don't particularly mind if it changes slightly as the trade moves. Because um, what you'll see if you come down to the bottom of your web browser, bring up your pro real time options box and let's say uh, you know, on one of our fundamental um, watch lists, we had uh, Jazz Pharmaceuticals was on our watch list and it broke out. You'll see that the indicator is already on the Jazz chart. Um, it broke out here on high volume. So you would just hover above the breakout day and the indicator tells you it's at 93.86 so you'd calculate the difference between the open following the day of the signal and the actual indicator itself and you know that would be your position size and then again this indicator will just automatically follow the market upwards um, and that's just can be a bit of a time saving tool if you so choose to use the indicators and you don't particularly mind if they move slightly because what you'll notice here is sometimes they'll come down a little bit and that's just because as the price is moving up the uh, the actual ATR might be getting slightly larger which means it's coming away from our price a little bit uh, but that's about it for this video in the next video we're just going to look at some further fundamental um, uh, kind of free resources you can find online uh, for things like um, seeing if there's been any insider trading of a company or how you can quickly highlight phrases um, in statements using advfn.com uh, and also some other websites where we can look at um, quarterly specific data regarding earnings per share or revenues um, so i'll see you on that video